Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Uh, been a while since I did one of these. Emily, my daughter and office manager and a salesperson who's been with me eight years, had a baby. Everybody's fine. It's a boy, nine pounds, eight ounces. Uh, the grandmothers are going nuts taking care of the baby, bless their hearts. But anyway, we've been, we've been real busy here taking care of customers and incoming orders. And what I wanted to talk about today, excuse me, was a question on the internet. Here are three books that have been just incredibly handy for me. This is Thomas Glover's G-L-O-V-E-R Pocket Ref, and I'll put this info in the log, by Engineering Publications Group. It is a really good book. I particularly like the Tables of Conversions. Uh, highly, highly recommend this. It sits up here on my desk. The rule is I'll buy one of these for whatever staff person wants it, but this is mine, and it stays right there. Um, Machinery's Handbook. This is the 24th edition, which is old. I don't know how old it is. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, I could look. 1950. No, that can't be right. Copyright. Anyway, uh, 84, 92. This is the 92 edition, the 24th. They're constantly updating it. This is an excellent, excellent book if you're involved with. Uh, machinery uh, arguments about which is the best you can find this inexpensively in a lot of secondhand stores but you ought to have at least a copy of this you ought to be somewhat familiar with what's in it and the same thing with this the CRC which is chemical rubber company and I'm not they got into this because people would ask them questions about it so they decided to start publishing this Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. This is a 74th edition, which is the 93-94 edition. This is an incredible reference. It is a big book. It is full of all sorts of things. What brought it to mind, there was a discussion online about, is pencil lead magnetic? Well, graphite has a magnetic susceptibility of minus 6 times 10 to the minus 6 CGS. I don't know what CGS is. I didn't look that up. I just posted it. But you ought to see, you ought to at least go someplace and take a look at this. Once again, you can pick these up uh, very inexpensively. Uh, for what I'm doing, the kind of basic science I'm doing, this thing just doesn't change very much. And if it does change, a lot of this stuff changes around the, I don't know, 8th or 18th or something decimal point. So... An old copy ought to do you just fine, but it can answer some really basic questions. So that's it. Three books that I have found incredibly handy over the decades. Uh, obviously, there are more. These are three that I'm particularly fond of this morning. So have a good day.